Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how I embellish my flowers. Everyone does it their own way and this is mine. Um, I'm going to show you how I add leaves, how I outline flowers and leaves and how I add wispy swirls and liquid bling and things like that. Now you could just add dots to these if you push for time. They'll still look cute, they're fine for a fast face design. Um, but I'm going to show you how to add a bit of wow to them. Now, first thing I want to show you how I outline my petals. Um, I'm going to do it in black today. You can do it in the this, this same purple, you could do it in dark purple, pretty much you could try anything. Um, experimentation is the key I suppose. Um, the brush I'm using today is a very fine tipped brush, it isn't a face painting brush I don't think. I got it from an obscure little art shop. Um, it looks like about a number one. Um, it's got a very, very sharp tip. It's got very um, stiff bristles. And this is my absolute go-to brush. I use this more than any other brush in my kit. So I'm going to use black today, which can be a bit harsh on a design. So be careful when you're using black. Um, if you use black to outline your flowers, you need to use black to outline your leaves. It sort of goes together. So I showed you on the other video how I um, add highlights to the centers of my petals. Okay. And you can add them along the way. You don't have to add them to every single one. Okay. Now when outlining, I, I'm not going to trace the edges of the petals perfectly. I'm going to make it a little bit shaky, a little bit random. You can trace them perfectly if you want, if that's your thing, if you think that looks better. But this is what I do. I just trace around them roughly. I'm not covering every bit. I'm not even following the lines very well. But this is how I do it. Okay? Now you can go really carefully around the petals if you like. You can even bring a few flicks in from the outside. Um, just do whatever you like. Do what suits you. Now, I would go ahead and add some white dots to this. You can just add white dots and that's fine. That's easy for a fast face design. Doesn't have to be difficult. Okay. Now the second thing I'm going to show you is the wispy swirls. I will do them in a matching colour, the one that I double dipped into which was Tag Pearl Wine. And again, we're using a really, you can see how runny that is, really runny mixture. Any thicker than that and it's just going to clog and stick to your brush and be very dry. Okay, so if I'm highlighting, go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to add some little flicks and swirls to the outside of the flower. You can go right around if you like. It's all preference. Now I'm just, just touching the tip of my brush and I'm, I'm just about doing it above the skin quite fast and then just touching it on the skin so it's just making the lines. Now I'll do that. And then I go in and highlight with white. Now the white doesn't have to be directly on top of those. You can do it. The side. It's just all preference. And I do that around most of my flowers. Just makes them look all pretty and wispy. Again adding white to the center. Okay. 
if you see outside. Don't be afraid of covering up little parts of your design either. Now, the third thing I want to show you is how I add leaves. Now, I'm using a Low Cornell Soft Comfort number. Hmm, I don't know, it's a gloss about number three, I suppose. And I'm using Chameleon Fleur de Lis, which is a metallic, so I need it to be good and runny. Just enough to coat my brush, but not too dry. And then for leaves, I'm doing the the ones I showed you before. Where you just squish and then pull away into a point. They don't have to be all around the flower. They can just be one off to each side. That's all what you think will look right. Now, if I was going to outline my leaves, I would also outline my flower. I'll just show you the, how I outline my leaves today. I'm going to outline the longest curve quite dramatically long. And then I'm just going to come in here and not quite finish the line there. See? And then a little line down the centre. And that is how I would outline my leaves. But in saying that, you can see that the leaves outlined are too dark for the flower. So then you would go in and roughly outline your flower also. And you can see that if you're going to outline your leaves, you really need to outline your flower too. Now the other thing I was going to show you was adding bling. I'll just add some dots to that flower. Now instead of dots you can put a gem. You can stick a gem in the centre, a little pearl or a little sparkle and it looks gorgeous. And then you don't need to dot in the centre at all. Now when it comes to bling, you just roughly going around. It doesn't need to be perfect. And if you're going to put some little swirls, these look gorgeous too, little bling swirls. It's all just preference. Try them all out, try them on your hand. See what they look like. Now all of these techniques can be used separately or together um, in any way. Some take longer than others and depending on time you may find that some work better in a fast face situation. Things like adding bling um, is something you would add to like a costume piece if you were going to do a, a mask for masquerade or something like that. Um, just try them out. Get your arm out, paint it endlessly, see what works. Um, and good luck to you. Now my next tutorial will be probably a face and I'll be showing you how to put these into a design and make it happen on the face, how to curve it around the eye. Um, so hopefully I'll catch you back for that. Thanks for watching.